Alrighty, I'm live. Let's do this. I guess the bullets push it away, huh? time. There's one. I'm not at my best here. Oh, my medic died too. Oh. You got it. Hey, let us out of here. You lead the way. Dr. Freeman, wait. We'll come with you. Nice. You stand over there where you can't get shot. Medic helping out my squad. Sorry. Let's get moving. No, 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 no. Stay. Oh, ah! Gosh darn AI. Hey! Let us out of here! Without me, 
Let's even the odds a little. Finally. Let's go! No, Benry. You lead the way. No. Let's take. Follow Freeman. Sometimes it goes back and hits this and gets captured again. Really annoying. Two more to go. Okay. I can live with that. Oh yeah, this part's a trap. You got it, Doc. Hey, everybody, follow Freeman. I don't like that. say doc let's get moving let me get out of your way whatever you say So yeah, so this is what I mean when the map quality is kind of different. This this feels like this was kind of rushed, this part. But that's okay. What did 
generator to go. Darn it, Barney. Wasn't too bad. This is only really necessary if I'm playing on hard. Sorry. But... Yeah, pardon me. I don't like to waste. Conserve resources. Alright, I can never remember where I'm supposed to go with this, so... Ah, one last one, okay. Pardon me. Wow! With that much security, there must be something good in there. Go for it, Doc. I'll wait here till you shut it down. Be careful! Lava. Oh, it's Breen. Sorry, Doc. All right. That's it. They're all down. That'll shut down the suppressor on the roof as well. Let's head for the roof now, Gordon.
Let's head for the roof now, Gordon. Barney. Hey. Get out of the way! Roof, Gordon! Gosh darn AI. Get it open. Done. I'm gonna stay here and keep these gates open long enough to make a difference. Go on up and connect the sky bridge. We need to let reinforcements come through from every possible direction. Alrighty. If any more citizens come through, I'll send them up to find you. See you when I see you, Gordon. This way, gang. My squad died. Mm. Rip squad.
not pretty. And new map. Dr. Freeman, since you shut off the suppressor and opened the gate, we can really move people through now. The Combine's gonna feel the squeeze. We dropped a crate of rockets coming across the plaza. If you can make it there, you should have everything you need to take down these striders. Freeman! Alrighty. Wait for me! There's a crate of rockets here somewhere. Where's that crate at? There it is.
think that's it, basically.
Back to Freeman. It's a mess out there. This close to the Citadel, they've turned the streets over to Striders. I think we can push them back if we can just get to high ground. We're almost to the Citadel wall, Doc. I don't know how the hell we're gonna breach it, but you've made it this far. I'm sure you'll think of something. Yeah, so if I was playing this, 
If I had made a good decision, I would have played the just the vanilla Half-Life 2 instead of the Half-Life 2 update. I think now it's probably better patched. I don't remember the Combine being this bad at throwing grenades. Usually they're much more accurate. Because they're kind of shooting themselves in the foot whenever they throw a grenade like that. Just lands right near them and then they run. Good as spot as any to quick save. Oh no, the strider! You throw like a girl. Got one squad mate left alive. Absolutely brutal. So this is where the game comes into its own. We see the best of the combat. Uh, these scripted sections are really nice. Just the combat, all the different events. Very well made. Though as we get closer to the end of the game, we start to see things are a little bit more rushed, just in the development. Um, especially when we get into the Citadel for like the final chapters. Um, it's still a great game. It's still a great section. It's just they were really in crunch mode then.
goes on longer than I thought. Even with me. Whatever you say. Here, patch yourself up. Really glad I'm not playing on hard, because it'll just take more rockets, which is kind of ridiculous. Man, he does a lot of damage. Yeah, it's ridiculous, but I gotta kill them to progress, I think. So. You lead the way! Have a med kit. Oh! <laughs> 
can never remember how to get out of here, but I think it's the strider, last strider that fell knocked down a wall somewhere. came crashing through the plaza, knocking over walls, and I think he's looking for Alex. He seems to have it set in his head that she's in the Citadel. I figured Alex wouldn't want him getting any deeper in trouble, but hell, you try stopping him. Think he wants you to go through, Gordon. You'd better hurry. And if you see Dr. Breen, tell him I said. Our benefactors. Okay. So yeah, the, from here until the end of the game is one of the... They had a little bit of trouble in development. They had a lot of things they wanted to do with this final chapter. Storytelling, world building, etc. But um, they were releasing on the original Xbox with very... So last-gen hardware, basically, with the next-gen game. And, um, and they were really crunching trying to get this thing out. So this... A lot of this chapter got cut. But it still does a pretty good job of establishing world and all that, just not quite as much as they had wanted in development.
So yeah, we get the sense that humans are being harvested on an extraordinary scale. Oh my god. What did they do to this poor fella? So the scale of it is just mind-blowing. This is what the aliens are using humans for, basically. They've co-opted them and just completely, completely changed them. So, this is Dr. Freeman. At last. I wish I could say this was a pleasant surprise, but it's neither a surprise nor, as you will surely agree, very pleasant. Well, I am nothing if not pragmatic. Yeah, so this is basically the epilogue of the game from here on out. Um, we're given the supercharged gravity gun because apparently the cons the confiscation field failed to destroy our gravity gun. Instead, it supercharged it by accident. Very unstable. But we can now pick up bad guys like we couldn't before. And if we're close enough, we can punt them. Um, and yeah, this is our only weapon from here on out, I'm pretty sure. Um, these chargers recharge both health and suit power, and then for some reason they do it much quicker and bring us up to a maximum of 200. 200 for suit power. So we have a little bit more kind of cheese to work with, even though we're very limited for our weapon. Very big creative risk to do something like this for the final chapter. Um, I think it really makes the game memorable. 
my first playthrough this happened and I was like I was completely surprised. I had no idea what was going on, but it was just really neat. Fits into the narrative structure too. Dr. Freeman, under other circumstances, I'd like to think we might have been able to work together in an atmosphere of mutual trust and respect. Certainly judging from your brief tenure at Black Mesa while I was its administrator, you showed every promise of becoming a valuable and productive contributor to the scientific process. And yet, I'm not sure what spurred you to it. But there is really no place in this enterprise for a rogue physicist. disappointment in Eli Vance and Isaac Kleiner is far greater than my sorrow over your unfortunate choice of career path. In a way, I suppose you could not have done otherwise. Who knows what seeds of iconoclasm they planted when you were young and gullible, but while they certainly share a great part of the responsibility for the recent troubles, it is you alone who have chosen to act with such willful disregard for humanity's future.
throwing away. Is it worth it? I've never seen those creatures before. I don't think they're used anywhere else in the game. Or in the later games. They never use those. Take him from here. Don't struggle, it's no use. Until you're where he wants you, there's nothing you can do. I'm sorry, Gordon. Vast meteorological intelligences, worlds stretched thin across the membranes where the dimensions intersect. intersect. Yeah. <laughs> Impossible to describe with our limited vocabulary. What I've seen is also beyond words, Breen. Genocide. Indescribable evil. Good God. Well, if it isn't Gordon Freeman at last. What's this? I'll put it over there. You have my gratitude, Doctor. First you lead me straight to the doorstep of my oldest friend, and then you deliver yourself. If I'd known you were going to come straight up to my office, I wouldn't have bothered hunting you in the first place. Having both of you in my keeping ensures I can dictate the terms of any bargain I care to make with a combine. <laughs> Dr. Breen. Huh. Wallace. Yes, Judith, what is it? The bargain we should be making is for Eli's life so he can continue his research. Thanks to you, we have everything we need in that regard. You're more than qualified to finish his research yourself. What neither you nor I can do is convince that rabble in the streets to give up their senseless struggle. Yet Eli refuses to speak the words that would save them all. Save them? For what? Eli, 
If you won't do the right thing for the good of our people, maybe you'll do it for one of them. Alex, I need... Dad. Gordon? No. God damn you, Breen, you let her go! That's all up to you, my old friend. Will you let your stubborn short-sightedness doom the entire species, or will you give your child the chance her mother never had? <laughs> How dare you even mention her! Alex, my dear, you have your mother's eyes, but your father's stubborn nature. You haven't seen a bit of it yet. Really? Well, let's see how well it serves you on the far side of a combined portal. Go ahead, Bree. <laughs> if that's the worst you can do, send us both through your portal. Oh, it's hardly the worst. But you might find that hard to believe once you get there. It isn't necessary. I agree. It's a total waste. Fortunately, the Resistance has shown it is willing to accept a new leader. And this one has proven to be a fine pawn for those who control him. No! Don't listen to him, Gordon. How about it, Dr. Freeman? Did you realize your contract was open to the highest bidder? Gordon would never make any kind of deal with you. I understand if you don't wish to discuss this in front of your friends. I'll send them on their way, and then we can talk openly. Don't struggle, honey. Dad, I'm so sorry. Alex, Judah. Oh. Judith? What do you think you're doing? We're doing what I could never do alone. We're stopping you. Yes. Guards, get in here. They know you betrayed them. They'll turn on you. Judith, Dr. Mossman, please. I'm sorry, Wallace. You're all out of time. Don't. Hurry. Dad, hang on. You fool! Watch out, he's gonna- No! Dad! Oh, no, no, no. Don't worry about me, honey. There's no time, Alex. He's on his way to the portal. You'll need this. Dr. Mossman, Judith, look after my father. Don't you worry. Dad, I'm not saying goodbye. Never. Come on, Gordon. Let's go. Hey, girl. Gordon, we haven't known each other very long, but... I know you didn't have to do this. I had to rescue my father, but you... Well... Thanks for coming after me. It's me you should be concerned Hey, about. listen. I can still deliver That's him. Earth, but not without your help. The port of destination is untenable. Surely you can set the relay elsewhere. There's no way I can survive in that environment. A host body you must be joking. I can't possibly. There he is. Oh, all right. Damn it. That's what it takes. Just hurry. He's right behind me. Oh, shit. And next time. Hey, look what he left behind. He doesn't have a clue, does he? I wonder where he's going. Oh my god. This is the Citadel's dark fusion reactor. It powers their tunnel entanglement device. We'll never have a chance like this again. We've got to stop Dr. Breen. I can't shut it down. Looks like he's turned over control to the other side. You'll have to go into the core and do what you can. Get in the elevator and I'll let you in. Don't forget to charge your voice. Do your worst, Gordon. But be careful. It's Dr. Green. There he is. Dr. Green.
Freeman, you really shouldn't be out there. At the moment of synapse as I teleport, this chamber will be bathed in deadly particles that have yet to be named by human science. Perhaps when I have the leisure to do the work myself, I'll name one of them after you. That way you won't be completely forgotten. When the singularity collapses, I will be far away from here, in another universe as a matter of fact. You, on the other hand, will be destroyed in every way it is possible to be destroyed, and even in some which are essentially impossible. I don't know what you can possibly hope to achieve, apart from your own annihilation. Don't I warn you, Mrs. Feudal. energy for a useful purpose. I resemble that remark. Portal's opening. I hope you said your farewell. Back here? Fine soldiers. Where did they come from? I don't know what you can possibly hope to achieve apart from your own annihilation. Don't I warned you this was futile. He's bluffing, Gordon. Don't listen to him. Great. Oh no, Green started his ascent. Hurry, Gordon, before he escapes. Keep going. I could have told you that was pointless, Dr. Freeman. Go, Gordon! Are you still with us, Dr. Freeman? Not for much longer, I think. If only you had harnessed your boundless energy for a useful purpose.
said your farewell. Go back, Freeman. You have no idea what you're doing. Don't know what you'll unleash. You could bring down this whole citadel. Think, man. Think for the people below. No! You need me. <laughs> yeah. You did it. Come on, Gordon. We've got to get out of here. Maybe we still have... Time, Dr. Freeman? Is it really that time again? It seems as if you only just arrived. You've done a great deal in a small time span. You've done so well, in fact, that I've received some interesting offers for your services. Ordinarily, I wouldn't contemplate them, but these are extraordinary times. Hmm? Rather than offer you the illusion of free choice, I will take the liberty of choosing for you. If and when your time comes round again. I do apologize for what must seem to you an arbitrary imposition, Dr. Freeman. I trust it will all make sense to you in the course of... Well... I'm really not at liberty to say. In the meantime, this is where I get off. That's Half-Life 2. So thematically, still a very strong finish, but um, all the story setup that we never saw go anywhere. I really wish Valve had bit the bullet and made Half-Life 3 instead of doing the episodic releases. Uh, we get a little bit more story in Half-Life 2, Episode 1 and 2. Um, but yeah, so much, so much anticipation and story build up, and then we just, we don't get it. It's so sad. Uh, Mark Laidlaw is there. He's He was the chief writer for Valve. Uh, he recently left to go do other stuff. Basically released a thing saying what the story would have been for Half-Life 3. And yeah. That's basically it. That's it.